Hey, what is up guys? I am Hippie, um, and I wanted to do this video real quick. Um, I'm going to do a tour of an old world uh, that me and Famine had, and the reason I'm doing it is because most likely pretty soon me and Famine are going to be bringing back this series that we did. Um, so <laughs> my cat's just sitting here screaming at me on my side. I don't know what her problem is. She's not happy though. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to give you a tour of this world and just talk about some of the things that we played and some of the things that we did, um, just to kind of hype up, uh, I guess, you know, the return of this series. Um, for anyone that may have watched it or been around on my channel uh, a long time ago. So I'm going to fly up and first show you this badge that uh, Fat Man made, the Hippie and Fat Man LP. Um, it's pretty cool. I like it, actually. Um, so these were our first two houses. I built this little house over here. Um, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Um, I got a little shed here, and then we actually decorated these for Halloween, um, last year. What do these say? Knoll, knoll, <laughs> okay. Um, I think I may have accidentally went into this world in 1.8 one time. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool. There's like, no, there used to be a minecart in there that you could actually get stuff out of. There's like blood all over the place, and, um, that's kind of a cool thing. Um, and then I'll try and show you up here real quick. Um, I don't think there's anything in these chests. Like I said, I think I accidentally erased everything when I loaded up in 1.8. So this was my first house. Um, I had a little shed over here. What does this say? Hut of sick beats and tools. So there used to be, like, a bunch of records and a bunch of, like, tools and swords and stuff in there that I may have needed. Um, here I was originally making a giant map of the world. I'm still thinking about it. I might do that, but it looks like all the item frames disappeared when, when I accidentally loaded up wrong. So, these are our two statues. Um, what it was is there would be a Let's Play, and the winner of the Let's Play would get this torch over here. Let me grab a redstone. I can show you how it actually works. Um, so, there's a redstone right here, this torch, and you would get the torch, and you would place it here and it would turn on your statue and your eyes light up and the torch in your hand lights up. Um, so that's just kind of the way to celebrate or I guess to you know decide who won or whatever. Um, so that's my statue and that's Fat Man's statue. This is Fat Man's house. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I'll give you a tour real quick. Now the item frames all dropped but there are certificates that we all have from the um, contest that we won. I'll add those back in later. Uh, he has a chicken named Alfred Hitchcock, okay, um, yeah, he did all, like, diamond floor and cool stuff like that, uh, let's see what else he has, I don't know if I've actually ever explored his room, he has an enchantment table, come on, get out here, um, brewing table, brewing stands, let me get rid of this, but yeah, this was, this was, like, one of my favorite series, that's why I'm bringing it back, it was just so much fun to do, building these different, oh, oh no, um, just building these like little games and just kind of having fun it was it was a really cool series that we had so like I said I've been wanting to bring it back since you know since we did the last one so yeah it was some pretty cool stuff that we did he's got like a lot of stuff I didn't realize his house was this big oh yeah that's right he has a shower up there I can't remember how you turn it on and off but there's a shower there um, a closet he's got like a patio or a balcony, um, and I think that's it, he actually, I think he actually has a TV room in there somewhere too, but, um, that's mainly it, so, this is something that Fat Man built one time, uh, he built pretty much, I'd say it's pretty accurate, a pretty accurate skeleton head, and there's something in the back here, oh, that's right, he built a, he built like a hookah lounge in here. I guess, you know, Fat Man likes hookah, so he, like, made that, and there's also, like, a little face in here, too, so that's pretty cool, but yeah, he just made, like, a little chill-out hookah lounge back there, um, and on this other side, oh, I should probably mention what this is, this board here, um, we used to do this to write out our schedule, like, what we uploaded, um, so there would be signs there with all of the videos that came out throughout the week, but, um, I don't really do that anymore. Okay, so this is pretty cool, too. Uh, if this will work still. Yeah, it still works. Um, so this is like a little drop down thing. I don't think we even ended up using this. We meant to use it for 
something. I just don't think we ever used it. Uh, so this is inside the, of the pumpkin. Maybe we'll try and use it for something this Halloween. Yeah, there's just like this little... Um, okay, so this is what the winner was going to get. But like I said, um, we didn't end up using it. Supplies. There's a way out of here somewhere. Huh. I actually can't remember where. I think the maybe the button may have fell off. Um, let me take a look from the back. I think you have to actually open up the back before to use the extra exit. But yeah, this was going to be this cool little thing where I was going to have Fat Man stand here and drop him down. But um, that's our pumpkin. I don't think it turned out too bad. Um, yeah, yeah, there is. Where does this go? There's got to be a way to open that. I just can't figure out how. But there was later there was like something that you could open that with. Um, this was high dive. Uh, basically, what you had to do is we had these five things here. Um, what did someone? The feminine post sign. He cheated, but I won because he wears pink pants. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, you just had to like jump through this stuff and land in the water and survive. And there was all these different like platforms and stuff like that. Uh, I think there's actually something like a secret here. Or one of these. Yeah, yeah, if you fell through this one, you would actually fall to your death. So you had to get uh, the middle one or the last one. So that was pretty cool. Um, I think there's some stuff over here. I don't even know if I should really show you this yet. Because this is technically an un undone Let's Play. Um, yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to explain this too much. But this is a game that I made that me and Famine might play someday, I'm not sure. Um, we built Battleship that we hadn't played yet. I tested this out to see if it would work, and it looks like it works pretty well. Um, so maybe we'll play that one day, too. Uh, there's just, like, all kinds of stuff built all around here. Um, this was Peyote. Uh, if it was a Let's Play where you basically had to... You came in here and did Peyote with this native guy. Oh, that's right, Famine killed him. You came in did a... Um, peyote with this guy in here and uh, you ended up having a bad trip and you had to go and get a bunch of like stuff like a bunch of spider eyes and stuff like that and there was some magic mushrooms hidden in a maze around here that you had to find too let's see if the chest is still here yeah yeah right, that's, right there's the chest there's magic mushrooms in there you had to bring back all the stuff and um make a potion and you could it would like fix you or whatever but um i think famine cheated he had a chest hidden somewhere around here that had yeah right here he had, like, diamond armor and diamond swords all enchanted and stuff in there, so he cheated. Um, this one, you guys should already know because that video that came out earlier today. This is the Subscriber of the Week mansion, or uh, mansion, museum. Um, I just kind of honor some of my subscribers who do good things or just leave nice comments or whatever. Make me feel happy. Um, they get put in here in a, you know, uh, a thing, a uh, head to be remembered by. Um, this is another house that I built. This is actually a model of Corrales' house. One of Corrales' house that he built. Um, pretty cool. Like I said, I redecorated a lot of stuff for Halloween. Um, pretty cool stuff. A little closet back here. So, did I see a sign? Why did it look like I seen a sign? Maybe not. Um, bedroom. little cabinet type thing. Um, so yeah. That was just my house, just simple, but I don't know why I wanted two houses, I just did. Uh, let's go over here, I suppose. This is probably the next thing in line. This was a Let's Play, or kind of a thing that we did called Bobby's House. I can't really talk about what it was or what it is going to be because it <clears throat> still has to happen this year. Um, but basically, you come in here and it's just this house decorated. He had paintings on there and stuff like that, but um, yeah, like I said, everything out of these chests is all gone. I apologize if this is too long for you guys. I hope it's not too long. Um, but down here is like a secret laboratory. And there was like body parts in all of these things. It was pretty cool. There was like lungs and organs and hearts and stuff. Um, it looked like Fat Man broke these. But there were people in there that were test subjects. It was pretty cool. Um, there's still... I didn't know that we had this much stuff. Is this broken? I think it's just a glitch. Yeah. That's a little hideaway stair door that I used. Um, 
Okay, let's take a look over this way first, I suppose. This was the first Let's Play that we ever did. Um, you'll be able to figure out pretty easily what it is. <laughs> Monopoly. So, we played our own Monopoly with everything. Um, had, like, what stuff equaled for dice and what stuff equaled for that and, like, the money and all that stuff. And we played, like, a legitimate, actual game of Monopoly. It took us, like, three hours to complete, I think, but uh, it was quite a bit of fun. Um, this is... Uh, this was called Halloween Hooligans and Trick or Treat, I think. Yeah, yeah, you would come up here and... Um, you would basically choose one of these, right? You would stand in front of one, flip a lever, it would either hit you with an arrow or spit out a cookie. Um, and you had to see how far you could go, how many of the ten houses. Um, so like if I did it, Fat Man put all the stuff in so I wouldn't know what was in it. Um, here is the Halloween Town store. Like a little gas station or whatever. Did we name this guy? No, we didn't. We didn't name the poor fella. Um, but it was also Halloween Hooligans, which was a little thing. There's a little hideout over here. The hideout was for the hooligan, and there was a cop patrolling the streets. And what you had to do was, uh, like, come and stand on these pressure plates for five seconds. If you could stand one, two, three, four, five, the light would turn on. You see that one turned on. Um and you would collect this house, and then you would have to get as many houses as you can out of ten of them, uh, and the cop would be just, like, patrolling up and down here, and if he hit you with a stick, then you had to go back to your hideout and wait back there. Um, but, like, you had certain stuff, like, I think you had, like, a potion, speed potion, and a, a, um, uh, speed potion, too. And so this is just, like, a little alleyway, or a sewage way that leads from the hooligans hideout back to the um, back to the actual I guess let's play area or whatever but uh, yeah the, the, I, I think this may have been one of my favorite games because I had a lot of fun doing it um, over here also is probably one of my favorite games just because I don't know I just feel like it turned out really really well um, so this is duck hunt if you can see that the duck hunt dog uh, let's go around here so, basically, Duck Hunt, I think there's a lever down here I can turn on the lights with. Uh, you had to put a coin in there. Power. Flip the power switch, and let's see if it turns on. Yeah, yeah, it does. So, um, basically what you would do is you have one person who would climb up here, and they have a power to bow or whatever. They would climb all the way up here, and they would chill with their bow, and meanwhile the other person is down here I'll just go inside and show you down here in the in the actual machine workings and all of these little I know the redstone is not as great as it can be I, I, I'm not, I wasn't that great at redstone at the time uh, all of these were full, filled with chicken eggs um, or spawn eggs and you would just run along here and you would push buttons like the first round you push like four buttons then six buttons then like eight buttons then like twelve buttons or whatever uh, and the person had to shoot as many as they could and it would you know kill the chickens and they would all drop down into these hoppers and there's a scoring system somewhere Okay, so you would flip this lever, this opens up, it leaves a chest, uh, and there's five and four or whatever. So we had certain points for the uh, feathers and the chicken, and you would, uh, you know, just get more points and stuff like that. We were also working on building, I don't know if I should, no, I probably shouldn't say those, because uh, we're still possibility of doing those. I think that might be all of it. Um... It seems like it's all of it. Let's go ahead and flip the power. Watch the lights turn off. Is it going to work? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. This is all of the stuff that we have built. Um, nice little pixel art there. Uh, yeah, we were... I can talk a couple of things, I guess. We are currently working on setting up some type of a plan that we can build a Candyland game. If you've never seen Candyland, uh, it's a pretty cool little board game that kids play. Or it's the younger generations. Um, 
Also a couple other ones, maybe some Pac-Man, maybe some Call of Duty Ghosts, or Call of Duty Zombies, I mean. Uh, just some, some other cool stuff that, you know, we've been working on. I'm going to go and turn that off, hopefully, to release, reduce a little bit of lag. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys all of this, hopefully to, I don't know, maybe spark your interest in this series, and uh, hopefully get you guys interested.